To get the maximum sale for each product, we can use a pivot table, formulas, or Power Query. To create a pivot table, click in one cell in the table, go up to the Insert Ribbon tab, Tables, Pivot Table dropdown, and we want From Table because our data is from the worksheet. We'll put the pivot table on the existing sheet, E2. Click OK. From the field list, we drag product down to rows. Instantly, that gives us a unique list. Drag the sales field down to values. It defaults to sum. Right click in the sum column. Point to summarize values by and click on max. Done. If data changes, quad is now 100. A pivot table report does not instantly update, but we can right click, refresh. If you want your solution to instantly update, then we need to use worksheet formulas. Now we need a unique list, so we use the Microsoft 365 unique function. We select the product column, close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, a unique list spills down the column. Now notice all of the cells below the top cell are grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell. To spill the max sale for each product, we're going to use the max ifs function, the max range. Those are the numbers where we're trying to find the max, comma, criteria range. That's the full product column, comma. And in criteria 1, I need to give it the unique list. Now watch what happens when I select the unique list that spilled from that top H3 cell. H3 is listed because that's where the formula lives. The pound operator says get everything that spills from that cell. And that's our formula, close parentheses and Enter. If I change the Carlota value to 147, formulas instantly update. A pivot table, I have to right click, refresh. In addition, because this is a spilled formula, if I come down to the table, this is an Excel table, in the last cell I type a new product, tab, and sales of 100, tab, Yanaki, sales of 255, and Enter. The spilled array formula updates the spilled values and the max values. The pivot table, I have to right click, refresh. So the pivot table is easier and quicker to create. But if source data changes, you have to refresh. Formulas instantly update. Now Power Query is in Data, the Get and Transform group. And I wouldn't use Power Query for max sale for product if the data was coming from the Excel worksheet. But if it was coming from an external source, then I'd use Power Query. We go up to Get Data from File. Our data is from a CSV file. So I click. I see my file. I double click. It gives us a preview of our table, and it got it right. We do not want to load. We want to click Transform. This is the Power Query Editor where we get to import our data and make any transformations. I'm going to come over and rename the query something like Max Sale Report. Now in our report, we need a unique list of product. And the way we do that in Power Query is with the Group By feature. So we select the Product column, Home, Group By. By selecting the Product column, that means we'll get a unique list. And then we decide the aggregate calculation. This is the name of the new column, Max Sale. The operation is Max. The column we want Max to operate on is Sale. Click OK. And so as part of the import process, we have transformed our data. Now we can go close and load, close and load to. I'm going to put this on the existing sheet, K2, click OK. Now notice the pivot table automatically sorts. Well, guess what? We can get our formulas to sort too. We have to come to the top cell and hit F2. We use another dynamic spilled array formula, sort. Close parentheses and Enter. For Power Query, we are allowed to go back and edit the query. Here's the Queries and Connection pane. I can double click this to open up Power Query. And now I can simply add a step. Here's our steps over here. By coming up to the drop down, sort A to Z, it adds a new step. Now I click Close and Load to load to the previous location. And now they're all sorted. Quad is 340 
And when I hit Enter, formulas are the only one that updates. But the pivot table, right click Refresh. And in order for this one to change, the source data would have to change. So I went and changed the data in that source file. So now I can right click Refresh. All right, so pivot tables, easiest to create but require a refresh. Formulas, not as easy to create but has the benefit of instant update. And Power Query, great when we're importing the data directly into Excel. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more about pivot tables or dynamic array formulas, check out these videos. Mm -hmm.